Sarah Baptist, Urban Landscape, Oil Painter. So I've finished the January 30 day challenge and I'm pretty happy with how it went. I have to say, I believe I did 28 paintings out of the 30 days. I, there are some paintings that I painted on top of. So I don't have 28 paintings to show for my work. I have some paintings that have two or three dates on the back because I painted on them two or three times because I wasn't happy with them. And if you saw my original video about some of the process I was going to do, it was about correcting and making mistakes and doing some fun stuff. So in that process, um, I have pictures of the paintings, but I don't, the final product, I just have one painting. So. It's interesting, so one painting has five different dates on it because it took me that long to be happy with it. Um, so it was a fun, that part was a fun process. It, it was a little frustrating at times because I wasn't sure what I was doing. Um, it did get me in the studio, which was the intention of the whole challenge. The toughest part about the challenge was, I, I think the, the urban uh, landscape the toughest part I really wanted to play and throw paint around and I was I was really looking to um, loosen up a lot and what I realized is I was doing the first painting or two and what I realized is I needed five or six paintings in a row and I needed the paint to set up before I could go back in and start moving things around and revising and putting paint on top because the paint was wet. So I had to, I had to wait a week before I could really go back in <laughs> and, and, and kind of loosen things up and start playing. And I found that really in that week when I was going in and doing these shapes and, and trying to play and be fun, it wasn't working and I couldn't quite figure out why. And it was about the fifth or sixth day into that that I, I kind of realized it's like, well, it's because you can't, you're not doing what you want to be doing, and that's because you have to sit and wait for it to dry. So once I made that realization, and I just could put the basic shapes down and have some fun with that geometry and and those shapes and designs and forms, and then realize, oh, I'm not done with this. This isn't the finished painting. I'm just putting this aside so I can play with it later, then I could kind of relax into it. And, um, and I knew I was building to something for later. Um, then I was happy. The number one thing I'm taking away from this challenge, just to relax. Um, it's good to be back into the studio and you know, sometimes you go into the studio with an intent and, you know, this is my mission and that's not always the way it works. And you just have to loosen up sometimes and relax. Being in the studio is the important part and let the rest go. Just, just go in, have some fun and get to work. Okay, so it's the beginning of the year. I've had fun with this challenge. I love your support. So I've set up a two-week flash store online where these paintings are available. The link is below. Please check it out and thank you for your support. So uh, I hope you'll visit the website and check out what I've done. They're available for sale. And uh, there you go.